welcome to my way by yams. Today we are going to cook chicken wings with fermented bean curd. Okay, some people call them wet bean curd. There are several brands. You can find this one in Berry supermarket. Okay, sometimes Walmart carry this one. They are called wet bean curd or fermented bean curd. We need two of them, two pieces. Okay, make sure when you try to get them from the bottle, try to use a dry fork or dry chopsticks to get it from the bottle. Otherwise, they go bad easily. Okay, and then the basic ingredients are chicken wings. Here, there are 500 gram chicken wings. It's around 12 to 13 pieces. Okay, 12 to 13 pieces. And then I have already seasoned it a while ago. There are two teaspoonful of soy sauce, two teaspoonful of soy sauce, one teaspoonful of Celsius wine, okay, one teaspoonful of Celsius wine, and one teaspoonful of minced ginger, okay, one teaspoonful of minced ginger. All mixed up. Try to season them 10 to 15 minutes before you cook, okay. And there is a few slices of ginger. And there are four, four full stalks of green onion, okay? That's all we need, okay? These are the basic ingredients. And of course, we, need, we will be using the oyster sauce, as usual, and a bit of sugar, okay? But for this dish, I, I try to add something myself, okay? But they are all optional, okay? These are the dry Chinese mushroom, okay? I have already softened them. And then this is the king oyster mushroom. It's the Korean king oyster mushroom. And this one is the tofu puffs. Okay, tofu puffs. You can find all of them in Fairway supermarket, okay? And this one, the king oyster mushroom is on sale this week. I just cut them like this. Okay, there are two of them here, okay? And they are really, really yummy after cooking with the fermented bean curd, okay? And the, uh, for the tofu puff, just cut it in half, okay? So that the sauce will get into it easily. Cut them in half. And we are all set. Let's start cooking. In the supermarket, you may be seeing this kind of red fermented bean curd. They are not the same, okay? We are not using this one this time, okay? We are using the white one, okay? The regular fermented bean curd. This is for another dish. I'll be showing you soon. First of all, we heat two tablespoonful of oil, two tablespoonful of oil, and then put the chicken wing in. Just let them sit there and cover the lid. Medium high heat, okay? Cook it for two minutes. Okay, two minutes. After two minutes, turn it over. Medium high heat, that will stay there for another two minutes. After another two minutes, they should be all golden brown. You see? Looks so good already, right? Then, I'll be adding half of the ginger for the time being and half of the onion. And the bean curd, okay, all in. And try to mash the bean curd. Okay, and then turn them over, stir fry for a while. If you don't have any of these ingredients, you only need to add 50 ml of water and then let it cook there for another two minutes. Okay, if you don't have any of these ingredients, add 50 ml of water in. Okay, cover the lid, cook for another two minutes. Then add the oyster sauce and sugar as usual, okay? But 
because I have these ingredients, I have to add all together 100 ml of water. And then put this all in. And then cook for 4 minutes. After 4 minutes, you see, it's all done. I'll be adding the rest of the ginger and the green onion in. And 2 teaspoonful of oyster sauce. 2 teaspoonful. And 1 teaspoonful of sugar. Remember, you can always try the taste to suit yourself, okay? Mix them well, okay? Remember, if you don't have all, all these uh, mushroom, king oyster mushroom, or um, tofu puff, okay? All you need is 50 ml of water, okay? Cover the lid, cook for two minutes, okay? Then, the same, two teaspoonful of oyster sauce, one teaspoonful of sugar. And then all mix up, and now it's ready to be served. You see, looks so yummy. It's done. Oh, look at the sauce. Wow, looks so good. And it will taste good too. I hope you like the chicken wings with fermented bean curd I show you today. And I'll be using the red fermented bean curd to cook something else next week. Stay tuned and see you soon. Bye!